Settings right for the way of the world wide web. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Epic Fail Commentaries, GSD here. Now, today, I'm going to take a break from my usual video game defending commentaries, and I'm going to do a little something a little different today on my commentaries. I'm going to commentate on a sprite who doesn't even do a good job in very good sprite. In fact, he does a pretty piss poor job at it. Crazy Time 77, aka Jonathan the Hedgehog. <sighs> to put this sum this guy up, he is the probably the, the laziest and the worst spriter in the world. I wish I was kidding. Now, I yet again, like I did with my testies one two five commentary, that guy still sucks anyway. I'm gonna cover two videos. Just to point out this guy's flaws in every one of his videos. So Let's kick back, sit back, relax, and let's 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 get started with this game. First of all, we're going to do is too many Jonathan's. And to point that out, that concept I've been overused too many times, where all they do is to clone them is there's, there's a cloning machine, a certain character clones himself, and they blow it up. And this one has to be the laziest. Awesome. Pikachu finally made a cloning machine for me. Okay, just before we get into the video, I just want to point out that guy actually is smaller than an ant. You have to enlarge your character a lot more. I can barely see him. Second of all, how can a Pikachu, aka a Pokemon, make a cloning machine if it's not got any... If it's only just a pet, or even a fighting companion. And three, that has to be the worst ever design for a cloning machine. It looks more like a deformed Geo dude with no detail done in it whatsoever. Dude, that is absolutely poor. Now, to turn on the machine. The machine was turned on and yet he didn't walk up and touch it. <sighs> that is yet another flaw of this video. Wow, it's echo me. It works. And I forgot to mention earlier, but that is a recolor of Wacko. Yako, I meant. Oh god, how could you do that to such a legendary character? Hi there! Have you seen Don and Wacko? I'd rather not see how they turn out if they do appear in this video. Cool. If someone curse me. Hold. This is the police. And yet we have a recolored bonkers. If this is the police, then I'll hate to see how the SAS turned out. Holy crap dinner! It's a silver me! Holy crap! How did I not see that coming? And now we have a big knockoff of the famous Kudu 17 line of ow oh, 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 oh. How did I not see that coming? How could you ever remake a line and then ruin it by make do adding in a different phrase rather than off off rather than ow oh, 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 oh. That is pretty low. Oh my gosh! It's Jane! A female me! Hey, does anyone tell- I'd like to, but... Nah, I just can't be arsed. Aw, uh, it's a baby me. Daddy! I want a toy! Okay, now this is getting very pointless now. And if you don't like it, and if you don't even bother to make a very good sprite movie, then you'll have to- SHUT THE FUCK UP! What the? It's a genesis force me. Why did I have four legs? Ladies and gentlemen, we've just come across another <laughs> pointless, pointless moment. moment. Holy cucumbers! It's a spaz jack rabbit me. Okay, crazy time seventy seven. I need to ask you something. Will you stop with the reek colors? Now, because this is getting very, very tiresome quite quickly. 
I am actually getting bored right here. I'm actually going to go to sleep. Holy cow. It's the Jonathan doll. Can you feel the wackiness? Now you're just pulling bullcrap out of your ass because how is that considered a doll at all? It looks more like a shadowy color. And yet, can you feel the wackiness? That's a knockoff of Can You Feel the Sunshine, a very well known catchphrase within the Tales doll of many sprite movies. I've got to be uh, admitted that this is the most piss poor job of a sprite movie you ever made. He never ever touched a machine, and it never ever looks like a machine. This looks like probably one of the worst sprite movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh god, what has this world cult said to itself into? Oh man, it's a see me. Can I tell something? How can I get out? Oh my god. Even Bubsy has been a victim of the red colours. <sighs> How the mighty have fallen. And also, you got his catchphrase wrong, it's called what could possibly go wrong? Get that right. Actually, you never ever considering what you do. Uh, maybe I'll destroy the machine before it makes more clones. Heads up. Ouch. Didn't see that coming. Oh god. This f video, this right movie fails. It is to be in the category of the worst sprite movie ever made. You never ever touch the machine, it looks like a deformed Geo dude, and all the clones are basically recolors. Basically, you never ever create clones of yourself. Basically of the same figure. <sighs> How is that called cloning? It's more like recoloring over certain characters. And that is a very poor job of that. Now I consider that complete laziness all the way. You know what? I'd rather watch Fred's movies than that guy. Besides, even though I would tend to watch Fred because he's still talentless, this guy takes the case of cake of the worst talent of sprite movies ever made. So now we're going to move on to Mugen and Pain, which is the second video of this video. And this proves to kick off a lot more than what this movie has. It more laziness, more fa and more fail. So let's get to it. Okay, Mugen. You ready? Yes, I am ready. Yet again, starts with another piss-poor job at making a sprite movie. If you don't know how to sprite movie, make sprite movies, then I consider retiring or even coming back when you do know how to make sprite movies and animate better as well. Oh, boy. I like it when we and GX see you in pain. <laughs> and you even stole fan characters and even recolored over them. God. This video is poorly scripted and has a lot of uh, more, even more recolors. Is this sprite worthy enough, Wayne? Not. Okay, Jonathan. Let's go. <laughs> And this is where all the bullshit begins. With a sound clip that muffled, a muffled sound clip which takes up most of the video. Uh, excuse me, have we even finished yet? Hello? You know what, this isn't funny. I don't consider this entertainment to my eyes or ears. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what's coming. We've just stumbled across yet another... Pointless, pointless moment. <laughs> you know what, I'm actually going to end it there since it's going to drag on forever. Now this, this guy doesn't know how to sprite. I'm sorry to say this, but this guy is not a worthy spriter. He does, all this, this videos are is just complete laziness. It's just complete dribble that it goes on forever and ever and ever. And it's complete bullshit that no one cares about. And also, we don't ever, ever, ever tolerate anybody who actually does this kind of things. You know what? 
everyone of Crazy Time 77's videos have always been pointless. They don't have any good script in them, their storylines don't make any sense. Another thing, I know in one of our senses, that video is completely the worst. He, this guy is the worst spriter ever, and the most laziest as well. I believe he's not worthy enough, isn't he, Wayne and Garth? I thought not. So Crazy Time 77, if you're watching this, then consider improving on your sprite movie making or even animating. Or even retire for, or even retire from YouTube altogether. If you do not, then that's a complete at kiss on my ass. So until next so, and that's the end of the commentary, peeps. Until next time, this is GST saying goodnight. Thank you for joining me, and my word is final. It's official. You suck.